just a couple of minor things and we'll be all finished with this uh, admin side of WordPress. Um, one thing I need to do is I need to set up the featured image size. I'm going to go back to Coda in my functions.php file, go all the way to the top. Um, the 2010 theme uh, function.php file sets the default size for those featured images and they set it to a very large size that I need to change. So I need, need to go down and find it. And here's the post thumbnails line that adds theme support for those post thumbnails. But what I'm specifically looking for is just a little bit below it here, um, set post thumbnail size. And instead of using these constants, I'm going to set it to 200 and 200. Let me go ahead and save that. Now I go back to the admin. Just going to refresh the page. And let's go ahead and add our image. And I'm going to open up t-shirt1.jpg. Um, I have included these images with the source file, so you can use them if you want. Okay, so I'm going to use I use this featured image and close this out. And I believe that's set for this particular product. So update. And let's go ahead and add a couple other products. Add t-shirt number two. I'll also put this in the t-shirt section. I'll add a featured image. And I believe that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this one too. and publish this and then one final product and in this case I'm going to leave this particular item without a featured image just leave it blank and I'll show you how we work with that in a little bit um, okay so you notice we have two t-shirts, sweatshirts, and one pair of jeans. And we don't have anything in the dress shirts category, and I'll show you that in a little bit, um, how to handle when you don't have any products in that particular category. So the last thing I need to do in the admin is go to, um, under the appearance section, go to the menus. I'm going to create a new menu. Um, I'm going to call this products. And it looks like it isn't showing immediately. <clears throat> I want to show the, where is it? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just missed down the second line. Okay, um, the product types. And I want to add all of these different types to our menu. And then I'm going to move each of these items into this section. Reorder them as I see fit. Like so I save my menu. And the last thing I need to do is go to the widgets section. I'm going to remove all this stuff. I don't really need it. But I am going to go ahead and include a custom menu widget.
I'm going to call it product navigation and it's going to use the products menu. So save and let's take a look at the front end. There we go. So we have our products navigation set up and let's take a look and see how things look so far. So we have a products navigation. It's just showing things in the standard post template and we want to do a little bit of tweaking to that. So we're about halfway through this tutorial now. Um, we have basically all the back end stuff within the WordPress admin done. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the front end. So you notice at the moment, um, let's go home, let's go to the clothing section. I mean, this section is showing products, um, but it, we need to improve the styling. We need to add post thumbnails. It might be nice to have them ring excuse me, um, displaying in rows. Perhaps this blog archives need to be changed and specify which section we're looking at, products, jeans, t-shirts, you know, whatever. So first step, I'm gonna go back to Coda and we need to come up with a template for everything that appears within the product type taxonomy. And um, one other thing I forgot to mention You'll notice that items on this page are being displayed by date. We actually want them displayed alphabetically. So I'm going to go ahead and tweak that as well. So I'm going to duplicate my category.php file. And I'm going to rename it taxonomy dash, um, what did we call ours, uh, type. Okay, so this is the template that's going to be used whenever we access our particular taxonomy. And I need to make a couple changes. Um, first of all, I need to be able to get information about the taxonomy the visitor is viewing. And we're going to do that by going, uh, creating a term variable. And we're going to use the getTermBy function and pass in a couple arguments. Slug get query bar for a term and get query bar for a taxonomy. And then the second line, we need to tweak the order in which items appear. So I'm going to do posts equals query posts. And this is going to change the query string that specifies which products display and in what order they display. And we're going to set that equal to the existing query string. And we're going to add on to it ampersand order by equals title. So this will order by the title of the product. And another ampersand and order equals ASC so for ascending. So this line is what controls the order of the products on the page. And then let's go down a little bit. We need to tweak this. Um, instead of category archives, I'm going to use product category. Like so. And instead of the single cat title, I'm going to delete this and instead use the term variable and pass in the term name. And instead of category description, um, let's see, do I need to do this? Yes, I do. Um, I can delete this line. And instead of category description, I can use term description. So if the term description is not empty, I'm going to go ahead and echo that out. So, and I believe we're good on this particular file. Yep, so you notice now we have product category clothing, and that will change depending on what section we look at. 
And if we go to the clothing section, you'll notice that all products are now ordered alphabetically.